In life, presidents are limited to two terms. But the Constitution says nothing about occupying the White House in the afterlife. For NPR, I'm Ron Elving. Welcome to my office hours of horror. Tradition tells us the White House is haunted by several of its former occupants. Thomas Jefferson, Andrew Jackson, and even John Tyler. Although, in all honesty, it's hard to imagine anyone recognizing the ghost of John Tyler. By far the most famous of these apparitions is former President Abraham Lincoln, who's been reported so often in the White House, it's not even newsworthy anymore. Lincoln did not die in the White House, but allegedly his spirit has been hanging around ever since, nonetheless. Sometimes he's reported to even wear his trademark shawl and top hat. In 1942, Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands was staying at the White House and reported that as she was trying to get some sleep in the Lincoln bedroom, she heard a knock at the door. She walked to the door, slowly opened it, and there he stood, top hat, shawl and all. But before he could speak, the Queen fainted which apparently the, the Queen did from time to time. Prime Minister Winston Churchill also reported an encounter with former President Abraham Lincoln when he was spending the wee hours of a White House night. He had just had his usual hot bath and he emerged with his usual glass of scotch and trademark cigar and found the former president leaning on a mantelpiece, gazing into a fireplace, lost in his ghostly thoughts. Churchill spoke and the apparition vanished. Now it is, of course, possible that was not Sir Winston's first glass of scotch that evening, and it's also possible he was just having a bit of fun with his American ghost, uh, hosts. And look, let's be honest about it. Washington, D.C. is known for a lot of strange goings on in any season. I'm Ron Elving. Thank you for coming to my office hour.